एंगल एन एंगल इज मेड बाय टू रेज स्टार्टिंग एट कॉमन एंड पॉइंट लुक एट हियर इट इज मेड बाय टू रे ओ पी एंड ओ क्यू एंड द गैप बिटवीन दिस टू इज नोन एज एंगल दिस गैप इज नोन एज एंगल द रे फॉर्मिंग द एंगल्स आर नोन एज आर्म्स और साइड हियर ओ पी एंड ओ क्यू आर नोन एज द आर्म्स और साइड द कॉमन एंड पॉइंट इज नोन एज वर्टेक्स हियर द लाइन ज्वाइनिंग दैट इज द रे ओ पी एंड ओ क्यू मीटर कॉमन एंड पॉइंट ओ सो यू कैन से दैट ओ इज द वर्टेक्स of this angle now come to naming an angle how to name an angle while naming an angle the vertex of the angle has to be in the middle while we are writing any name of an angle we have to put the letter that is in place of vertex in the middle of the other two letter here is an example look at here here the two arms are ba and bc so the uh, Here the vertex is B, so we have to put the letter in the middle of other two letter. So here the name of this angle that is ABC, and you have to put the sign of the angle like this one. So this is the angle ABC, or you can write this one as the above angle can be written as or name as CBA. Okay, we can just we have to write the vertex in the middle, and you can change the other two letter that is ABC or CBA. An angle can also be named just by its vertex. We can name any angle when we have only given the vertex also, and that is look at here. Here the vertex is D, so we can write this one as angle D. Okay. Now come to as you have already discussed the parts in a curve, or that is the position in a curve. Here we will discuss the same for the angle. An angle is also associated with three parts. that is first one is interior then exterior then boundary interior as you have already discussed that for curve interior means it refers to the inside or inner area okay the area present inside the angle is known as interior the green color area of this uh, is the interior of the angle if we put a point here anywhere that point represent the interior of the curve now come to the boundary it refers to the arm of the angle here there are two arm these are the two arms this and this so if any point present in these two arms then you can say that that is the present on the boundary here the red ink the red point on the arms look at here here the red point on the arm represent the boundary of the angle this point present on the boundary of the angle now come to exterior exterior means the area that present outside of the angle ready the it refers to outside or outer area of the angle all the space that present uh, outer of this two arms is known as exterior part the blue point depict the exterior of the figure here the blue point this one is present outer of the figure if we take a point here we can say that this point present in the exterior of the angle now come to that's all thanks for watching thank you students